Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. We're in today's video. We're going to be starting another project. All right, now that the chicken brooder is done and settled out of the way and the pit boss is assembled and all that is straightened away, I can finally concentrate on starting another project. Now in previous videos I've said that a rabbit tractor was going to be the next project. Well, it turns out once again I am a dirty little liar. Today's project is going to be starting a chicken run. All right, chicken run has been, you know, over two years now uh, outstanding. Ever since we got chickens, I really want a place for them to be able to enjoy in the winter time, and especially now that we have ten chickens, uh, you know, cooping them all up in the re in the chicken coop for the whole winter or during the the coldest parts of the winter is probably not that feasible, and they'll probably end up uh, getting probably a bit aggressive with each other and just causing general mayhem. So uh, I want this chicken run done so they got some breathing space, some space to get away from each other and uh, just make things a little bit easier. So that's the goal. So we're going to get started today. I don't know what I'll get done. I just want to get some post holes marked out, maybe some digging done. Um, you know, just sizing things up and really making sure that the plan is good before I just get into slapping things together. So, With all that said, let's get outside. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Wind isn't too bad. Maybe I'll be able to talk to you outside a bit, but uh, overall, the goal to start right now is to get the post holes marked out and dug. And I think that'll be a really good start. We've had rain lately, so hopefully the ground is soft. And anyways, let's get into it. We'll see you outside. All right, folks, so here we are outside here at the chicken coop. And pretty much what I'm going to start off doing today is running some stri string line because I want the run to be in line with the coop or the, the front face of the coop at least because I will be attaching the run onto the coop and just for aesthetics and uh, overall shape of everything I want it to be squared up as best as I can get it. Not going too crazy with it but you know trying to square it up as best I can. So I'm going to run some string line. See if I can get that uh, straight across the front of the coop. Use that as my, you know, way of lining things up. And then another one on the rear of the coop. And then I'm going to be doing posts about every eight feet. Uh, doesn't need to be too structurally, you know, crazy. Got to be able to support a little bit of snow load, I guess, during the winters, and sustain uh, and with uh, withstand. There we go. That's the right word withstand winds that we have here and uh, at this time of year we actually have Hurricane Fiona aiming for us uh, within the next well, five or four or five days and we're expecting winds in upwards of potentially 150 kilometers an hour if the forecasts stay true so uh, you know how much I'm gonna get done in that length of time you know is anybody's guess but uh, I'm building this to withstand that kind of weather is my point and uh, sorry for taking so long to get to that point. So I'm going to run some string lines, see how it goes. Let's get into it.
All right, so at this point now I got my post hole locations marked and now it's time to get into the fun stuff, i.e. the digging. So I'm aiming for about 18 inches on the holes in depth and uh, just from doing the swing set and stuff that uh, seemed to be a good depth to get some good um, sturdiness and stability. So that should be plenty for this run and uh, that's about it. I'll get into some digging. Hopefully it goes well. As of right now, it's only four post holes. Uh, whereas with the swing set, like I said, I did eight. So half the work hopefully should uh, go quite quickly. See if I run into some big boulders along the way. But off I go, do some digging. Probably a bit of music for you guys at this point in time. And uh, wish me luck.
All right, folks, there you have it. That is the four post holes done. So at this point in time now, I'm gonna get some posts put in those holes. And uh, I need to run to the hardware store just to get some two by four brackets. But uh, we're gonna start framing this up. I'm not gonna go ahead and stabilize the posts and cement them in place as they are. I'd rather just frame everything up. It can hold itself in place then while the cement cures. That's just the way I'm gonna do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way to do it. But uh, for me, working alone, not having an extra set of hands, for lining things up just perfectly and holding and putting on bracing, all that stuff, I figure it's just as easy to frame it up, let the frame and the coop hold everything in place, and then pour some concrete. So that's my idea. Hopefully it works out and uh, let's carry on. I will go to the hardware store in between these takes. Uh, you won't really notice me go, but uh, basically, should hopefully have all the supplies on site for framing this up at the least. All right, let's get going. All right, so the posts and everything are in the ground, ready to be attached to. I got my two by fours, I got my saw and everything ready to go. So at this point in time, I'm just gonna start framing. Uh, I got a, an attachment point on the coop. Let's see if I can point it out somewhere around right here. Uh, I'm gonna be attaching up in that upper corner, just going off level from that, attaching to the next post, keeping everything level from there, and just going the whole way around like that. So. Nothing too <coughs> excuse me, nothing too fancy on how I'm doing this, so hopefully it works out well. And uh, the roof, you know, we'll get to that later, but we'll just get the basic frame in place right now. And um, I got concrete, all that good stuff. We may get to that today as well, as long as I keep the pace going. So without further ado, back into it. Sun is shining, loving it, feeling good. This sweaty, uh, <laughs> this hoodie may have to come off, but. Anyways, let's get into it.
All right, boys and girls, so far the top level is done. The posts are secured. They're still a little bit wobbly. Obviously, they're not cemented in just yet. But um, I'm going to get started on the bottom row of bracing now. And when that's done, we should be ready for concrete and our basic structure should be done. But uh, off camera, I did a little bit of tweaking here and there. Um, you know, a little bit of leveling, a little bit of digging and, and squaring up and such. You know, it's not... It's not a professional structure, all right? It's not perfectly square, it's not perfectly plumb, but it's close enough, all right, for the purpose we got. And I may even have a little tiny, like, and I'm talking tiny, downslope towards the rear, which is what I want for water shedding. All right, I'm probably gonna have some water shedding to the front and the back if there's a lot, but hopefully the little tiny slant that I got there will make the water pitch back away from the front of the coop, so. We will see as time goes if it's perfectly flat and it just pools and runs off evenly. You know, I'm making it strong enough to hold up the snow and, uh, you know, so be it. I'm not really worried about that. I just want the wind to be able to blow through it without taking it with the wind, you know? So, you know, if I got one side that's really elevated and the wind gets under that and catches it, it could tear the roof upwards, right? So I do want it streamlined so that if the wind is blown straight across, it'll have the smallest amount of area possible to act on and push on and tear the structure away. So I am expecting very high winds and that's the reason I'm kind of going with flat roofs, something the wind can blow straight through and uh, hopefully it all ends up working in the end. So hopefully you're enjoying the video to this point. Uh, project's going quite well, all right? Knock on wood. Um, you know, the holes were easy to dig, you know, somewhat, and, uh, you know, the structure itself's coming together quite nicely. So let's keep pushing forward, get the bottom row done, and I should be ready for some concrete. So let's keep going.
All right, folks, there you go. That is the basic frame of the chicken run done. Everything's secured, buttoned up, and uh, overall looking pretty nice, I must say. So from here, it's time to concrete down those four posts that I did. And this should bring, that should bring a lot of stir, sturdiness and stability to the, uh, to the run. And I think that'll pretty much clue up today. So, cause we have got to let it harden and set right before I continue on with anything further. So let's get into the concrete now. Hopefully that won't take too long. Just mix that up in the garden cart. I already got the hose here next to the garden. So that's convenient. And, um, that should do the trick for today. So let's get into the concrete. Don't go anywhere too fast. We're gonna finish this out and, uh, and clue up this video then. Okay folks, so as promised, it is concrete time. So I'm gonna do one bag at a time and it's just regular quick crete concrete. So let's get it opened up. And the nice thing about this stuff is it is just add water. So I was a little bit overzealous with the water, so I'm just going to add another bag and continue to mix this up. All right, so that's sufficiently mixed. Let's head on over and start dumping this into the holes.
right, boys and girls, that's going to finish up today's video. A lot of progress on the chicken run. Everything's cemented in now. So when all that sets and I get another day to get out at this, uh, probably frame out a door and uh, then we'll get to some mesh, I guess would be the final thing to do to it. Not the final thing, there does have to be a roof on it yet. So uh, I do want this to be a covered structure to keep you know rain and stuff out as best possible. Other than our side blowing rain and side blowing snow, um, during the winter I'll probably tarp it over to be honest. But as far as the other seasons, uh, driving rain and stuff will make its way in there. But you know, straight down precipitation, we should be fine. Put a little cover on it, all good. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was uh, you know a long time in the making ever since we first got chickens, and finally now they have a run. Uh, well, they don't have it yet, but they will have a run to use and uh, a nice safe space for them. And especially for in the winter time was uh, really what I was aiming for. Because like I said, 10 chickens inside this coop, that was just the recipe for disaster and mayhem uh, when they get bored. So at least now in the winter time, they'll have a nice space to go out in and, um, and play and, and stay away from each other. So. But anyway, so that next video should hopefully come sometime soon and we'll get this run finished up and, uh, and get that mesh on and hopefully see the chickens enjoying it before uh, the winter comes. And, uh, you know, a lot of progress today and I'm quite happy with that. So until the next video happens, I hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, take care of each other, and peace out.